guys and welcome to my uh, video this is about the pulsar digix n450 um i've put this on top of my triple two um it's a really nice bit of kit it's got a nice simple menu uh, scroll uh, buttons at the back there and on this side here if you press that main button in the middle that allows you to gain access to the menu and you do use it with the flywheel um, you can get a bigger battery uh, which fits into this really neat cap if you lift that off there, you see the battery just pops out. That just slips in nicely, but you can get a larger turret with a larger battery capacity. It's always it's also got an internal battery, which is really useful. And you can see that on the screen later on, there is two batteries applied. Uh, it comes with three batteries. One is the IR illuminator, which I've chosen to take off. I'm going to put my own IR on this. Um, very easy to use. As you can see, eye relief is, uh, I believe, 1.75 inches which isn't fantastic, but it is better than a lot of the other scopes. Um, it's a one-shot zero system, like most pulsars, and as far as I could tell, it is fairly simple. Um, I'm here down on the range, and I'm shooting my uh, Tika. Uh, it's a 5.95, it's a semi-custom rifle, it's in a GRS stock. Uh, this is my go-to Foxy rifle, I use it an awful lot, it's, uh, it's, it's served me well over the years. But this is the first time I've gone on to digital, that's the first shot there. Um, the reason I've gone on to digital is because uh, I've got a Starlight Archer and anybody who knows me knows that I absolutely adore my Starlight Archer. As far as night vision are concerned, I mean that thing can reach out some serious distances at night when used in conjunction with a decent IR illuminator. At the present time I'm using a PBIR uh, L on it, which is fantastic. I just hasten to add that if I am using uh, a PBR IL on this Digex, it will white it out. It's going to be too strong. So I've opted to buy, um, I'm putting on a T20, an old T20 of mine, which is a variable power one, just to see how we get on. But I have spoken to Paul Baker and he's advised me that the PBIRS is probably the better um, option for using the digital add-on. So I took my first shot, I had a wander down because foolishly, I, and I'll come to this a little bit later on, I, I needed the exercise, but I wandered down and I was only uh, around about three inches low. So going into the menu, I just scroll through the menu, uh, which is very simple. If you've used Pulsar before, you'll know that the, sim the, si the system is really, really e easy to use. Um, you just scroll through it. I will do a video later on when I actually remember to record everything of how the menu works, but take it from me as somebody as old as me this really really does work really well um one shot zero i'm going to take another shot now and we'll put it down there and hopefully it's not going to be a million miles away what i like about this is as you can see it is scope shaped it's not a reach back it's not anything like my archer which is really far back on my rifle and anybody who knows about starlight archers know that that comes all the way back it's not like the wraith or it's not like the um the pod either it doesn't impinge your actual viewing it's just like a normal scope now this is a reason i thought to myself hang on a minute i've been walking up and down here checking my zero every time because as you know zeroing a rifle that's through a digital in the daytime is a little bit difficult because you're only limited the end of the pulsar uh digects you've got a little pinhole that you're shooting through so limits the amount of light um but I've been doing it all morning and then I realised, oh, hang on a minute, I've got another rifle in the back of the car. So I put that rifle on there and I was looking through the scope, which uh, saved me a considerable amount of time. So what I decided to do then was fine tune it. Um, I do like to have my uh, rifles all zeroed around about, I don't know, between half an inch and an inch high at 100 yards. Um, that's just my preference. It's not any particular uh, wizardry or anything special. It's just the way that I like to have my target set up and, and my zeroing set up. Um, the triple two is incredible caliber. It's incredibly accurate. Um, I'm home loads, uh, as you can see in the box in the foreground there. Um, they are 50 grain VMAX and they're absolutely spot on. Just clarifying through my other rifle just to see exactly where we are on the target like i say it did take a little bit of fiddling and a bit of fine tuning to get it there because like i said trying to zero a digital during the daytime at 100 yards is pretty tricky i got it on paper fairly close on i got it on paper at 50 yards and it, it did move quite uh, quite nicely onto the paper and then when i re-zeroed it obviously i decided that i just wanted to fiddle around because um i just like it absolutely spot on 
Uh, you'll see in a little bit later on that uh, it, it really is an accurate uh, scope. Um, I have heard some people saying that it does shift zero, but what I, I, I have found with it, with the shots that I took over the course of the morning, was it actually um, I didn't have any issues at all. There we go, just double checking when that's gone. So I seem quite happy with that. Um, I'll just, uh, as I say, I, I just like to make sure that everything is absolutely spot on. And I'm going to take my final shot now. Uh, there we go. I think that was my final shot, which was a three shot group right at the end of the session. And I do believe that I got them somewhere pretty near. I had a wander down and then uh, I had a look and see what we, we'd actually done. Um, I am in the process at the moment of putting a new uh, moderator on this rifle. I am thinking about putting a, another Wildcat um, Evo. I've got lots of Wildcats on all my other rifles. So I'm having a, a Wildcat Evo, uh, which I think will suit this rifle really, really nicely. It's time that it had an upgrade. I've had that moderator since I've had the rifle. Um, I'm not saying that it's come to an end of its days, but you never know. So what I did, uh, I had a wander down, and what I decided to do was just double check to make sure that the rifle was shooting exactly where I wanted. What I'm going to do now, guys, is as you can see, um, I don't want to bore you to death, but the rifle is now um, pretty much zeroed. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to do some videos, um, hopefully get some decent footage, uh, and hopefully that will come up in the next uh, couple of three days. So all I'm going to do now is finish this video with just showing you the image. Although it is on the screen, it looks pretty good. It's not actually the image that you see through the scope. The image that you see through the scope is always, always a lot clearer. As you can see, I've chosen it's almost like a hawk reticle. That red dot is uh, an inch dot. Um, and as you can see, it's in the middle of a white piece of paper. Like I said, the clarity is pretty, pretty clear. Um, through the actual scope, this doesn't really do justice, but as you can see, it, it, it's it's quite clear. I mean, that's 100 yards, it's zoomed in, it's 14 times power. But yeah, very impressed with it so far. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. You take care, and I will see you soon. Please click and subscribe.